You're about to board a plane and they start calling. The boarding crew call each class at a time to board. They even may consider elder or passengers with children to go first. Then finally, they call you. That's an example of priority queue. Another one would be patients arriving in emergency room. The ones in most critical condition go in first and the crew checks everyone assigning each a level of severity. Your internet routing is also an example of things that implements a priority queue. We have right here a queue built in in previous video. If you have the queue method that adds item to the end, the dequeue that removes the item in the front, the peek to see which item is at the front of the queue, a size, a is full and a is empty getters, as well as the print method. We will rename it to priority queue and change minor things inside. There are two ways to implement the priority queue. You can either organize the list by their priority when you in queue or when you dequeue, but we will do it when we in queue for this video. We change the in queue to not only take an item, but the priority as well. So first thing, I make sure the priority is never less than zero with math max, which is actually a preference of mine. You decide how you want to handle your priorities. Then I'll create an element object with the item and priority to add to the list. The first thing I do is check if the list is empty or the element to be added is greater or equal priority to the last item in the list. Then just push it to the list so it goes to the end. This will save us from looping the whole list to just find out the element should go at the end. Else, I'll loop the list with the four in and do a single check. If the element to be added has less priority than the current item I am looping, if so, I'll splice it at the index, set zero to indicate I don't want to remove anything, then set the element I want to insert followed by the break keyword to break out a loop. After, I'll just return the size. Now let's test this. I'll create my instance and queue up some items then print. The queue couple ones then print. We see the object and it correctly set each in their places and among the ones with the same priority it orders them by the order of insertion. Before continuing, I want to fix a couple of things. The print should print the items and not the object we use internally for tracking. You could keep it if you care about knowing the priority when you are handling the items, but I just want the items, not priority. I'll map the list in print to return the list of just items. Change peak to return the item, same for the queue. Everything else stays the same. So now you know how priority queue works. And there is one more queue type I would like to show you. It is the circular queue, which is probably my favorite one to implement. Once again, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.